Hi guys, welcome back to the Rusty Blades YouTube. Barbara, I've got Dougie in chair today. What are we going for? Just uh, skin fit around the eyes and then... You want it top. quite high, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then just blending in, yeah. chipping in at top and a little bit up at front. Is that it? Yeah, perfect. So let's crack on. <laughs> So we're back with another tutorial, so I hope you're going to enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed doing the actual cut. So we're going to first start out by just combing his hair out, spraying it with a little bit of water just to get it how we want it. And then we're going to start off with a deep bulking. So I put the number three guard on and I opened the lever and just started working up into that weight line. And just as I get up to that, I just start flicking away at it. So we just continue this all the way around the head. And again, all we're doing is just making it a lot cleaner just so when we put the actual ball guideline in. So now we've got the trimmer and we're actually going to put the ball guideline in and he did actually want a higher fade than he did but he changed his mind and he decided he wanted to go a little bit lower so it's more of a mid fade and like we did before we're just going to start we're just going to maybe put a little bit of a drop just as we come into the back And on this balding out, I'm actually using the Absolute Haters from Gamma. I have uh, put the new X-Pro blade on it, and I've got to tell you, it's absolutely brilliant. It just, it goes through hair like it's not even there. So now I've said it in my other videos as well, but if you want anything answering, and I'll answer it as best as I can if you leave it in the comments down below. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna use the Braun Series 9 to bald him out down to skin. So what I normally do is, as I go around, I'll get up to where the line is, the initial line for the balding out and just as I get away I just ease off the pressure a little bit just so that it transitions a lot better. And if you are looking for an electric shaver I can't recommend the Braun Series 9 high enough. Honestly it is so good, it's so gentle. Dougie who's in the chair now when I was using a different box shaver, around the bottom of his neck, it did actually bump up quite a lot. Since I've been using the Series 9, it just doesn't have an issue at all. As you can see anyway on there, there's no redness, there's no bumpiness. So I would highly recommend it. They are expensive, but you do get what you pay for at the end of the day. So once we've finished with the Braun Series 9, balding him out and getting him down to the skin, we've got the Rebel and we're going to open the taper up and as you can see, the open taper and we're going to set in our first guideline. We're going to work all the way around and probably about three quarters of an inch, just try to keep it as consistent as we can.
So now we're gonna just move it down a couple of clicks and where we set our first guideline in, we're just gonna stay slightly under there and we're just gonna work all the way around again, just staying underneath and just trying to make a really nice smooth transition. So if you can imagine just keeping the, the clipper anchored to the head and just keep it, just keep rubbing it. It's like rubbing it out like it's a an eraser and you just gotta keep working at it and eventually it will fade down and it will make quite a nice transition. So we're gonna move it down a couple more clicks and again, we'll just repeat the process. We'll just stay under where we last went. And like I say, it's just a, just a patience game. There's no rush, you know, just, just work at it. Just keep plugging away at it. And now we've closed it all the way and we're just gonna work away at that bottom line. So now we've put the number one guard on and we're gonna set in our second guideline with the lever fully open and again we're just going to go up three quarters of an inch and we're going to set that in all the way around. So now we've put the half guard on, we're going to open the lever halfway and where we've just been in with the number one guard, you can see that there's a line there and we're just going to go in there and we're going to work away at that bottom line and we're going to try and clean that up as best as we can. In hindsight, what I should have done is, I should have gone down another click or maybe like all the way closed and chipped away at it like that because there is still quite a bit of a, a line there as you can see. It's tough though, and I'm not making excuses, but the salon in which I'm working at, the lighting isn't brilliant. You know, you've got some yellow light in there and the down lighters, and I've got a big camera lens, uh, camera light, sorry, a little mini ring light. But as I was looking it through my eyes, it did look a lot cleaner. So now I'm gonna move on to the clipper over comb. I know this is a, a technique what I use quite often now, and it's still a technique that I'm still trying to get to grips with. It's not the easiest technique in the world, but slowly but surely I am getting there. And as you can see, there's loads of different ways of doing clipper over comb. I 
generally go from right to left and then I'll go from bottom to top. So it just depends on which way the hair's growing. And also, there's different ways of doing it, you know, I sometimes put a number one guard on there and close it, or I'll open the lever and I'll do it with an open lever. And what I do find is that it just gives you a little bit more of a security net that you're not going to take a big chunk out. But it's definitely worth trying that technique, and also it does give it a bit of a softer finish as well. So now we've put the two guard on, and we're going to have the lever all the way closed and we're just going to work in where we did the clipper over comb and we, as you can see on here I did overemphasize the, the flick out at the top so again I'm just trying to get this to blend like a little bit nicer So we've put the one and a half guard on and we've closed the lever halfway and we're just going to stay under where I was working away with the number two guard and I'm not going to lie it was getting frustrating with the line you can actually see it and I, it's, again I just kept on chipping away at it. So now we're going to go on to the shear work and like always I've put sectioned it off and I've put like a mohawk down the middle so this is going to be your stationary guideline so we'll do that we decided how much length that he wanted he didn't want much off we're going to make the mohawk guideline and then we're just going to work from front to back making sure that it was nice and even So I hope everyone's liking this format on the videos and the way that I do the walkthrough tutorials. If you do, leave it in comments down below and, and also leave any feedback and what you might want me to do as far as videos. Do you know, I'm always here to listen and if there's anything that you want, I'll do my best to try and fulfill that for you.
So now we're going to go in with the blending shears. And again, I'm using the wires part 332 comb with the white teeth. And we're just going to go around and refine any discrepancies, what you see. And hopefully it'll just clean it up that little bit more. So if you are enjoying the content what I'm putting out there and that you're finding some of it useful, don't forget to smash that like, the subscribe, the notification bell and all the good things so you always keep up to date with what I'm actually doing. So we're going to go back in with trimmer now and work away. I could see a bit of a line there. Um, it was really faint but I thought that I could get a little bit more out of it. And again, I'm looking at it in camera lens and you can actually see that there is a line there. But you live and learn. Not every haircut's gonna be perfect, but it's reality. And you're gonna come across struggles, you're gonna come across different hair types and you know different hair colors that aren't always easy. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is the final cut. Let me know down below what you think and I'll catch you in the next one.